Hi, my name is Chris. My name is Dale. And today we are going to be reviewing the 2015 C300. So I brought Dale along um, because this man has actually owned and has driven a legacy of C-Classes. So we want to give you guys a review and an experience of what makes this 2015 so different, right? Oh, absolutely. So why don't you tell us about the history of C's that you've driven or just, just a little of the Mercedes-Benz that you have? Well, the 190E that we had, or I had, was in 1990, 1986-190E. And that was kind of the beginning line of the small, compact um, four-door sedan for Mercedes-Benz. After we got, I got into that, I went to a, a, another C-Class, it was a 1996 C220, and then I converted to that to the new C in 2001, it was a C280, okay. and then I went to a, a C, it was C, a 2006 C350, and now I'm a C250, and now I'm driving the C300. So, right off the get-go, when you knew, when you heard that the 2015 was going to be a redesign. What, what were your first thoughts? Actually, I was ex I wasn't really expecting the the changes so drastic. Okay. I was expecting more that the the CLA and the E class and the S class was a combination. I just didn't see how far they were going to expand it. Yeah. But when we started seeing the previews, man, I mean, the interior was the one that kind of struck me. Not more than the exterior. Yeah. I mean, mind you, most of us are always in the car of course. more than we are on the outside, outside. part of the exactly. Car. So I was looking at all the interior shots and I was just blown away. It's just pretty much the elegance of the C-Class. What, what stands out for you in this uh, new cockpit of the C300? Well, I think it's the, where everything is more driver controlled or driver accessible. Okay. The E-Class and the S-Class has its own kind of more, it's made for more people to be in the car. Okay. C-Class is very tuned to the driver. Okay. And I think that everything is just a lot more accessible with the new touch pad that they have. Um, it's a safety feature that, of course, they're using now. And it's easy to access the navigation as well as the, uh, the phone and the radio and the actual functionality of it. It's still, for me, a little bit tricky. But I'm hearing by all the other uh, people that have experienced the car is that it's actually a lot more easier to use than the current or the 2014 and below C-Classes. Okay. All the features that we have on the S-Class is now transferred to the C-Class. Wow. So the C the S-Class 2015, 2014s, I mean, you are you do have a high MSRP, but the beauty of it is, is that you get all the great features of the S-Class in a C-Class. Yes. I mean, Mercedes-Benz has always carried its certain, own certain class, but not a lot of people get to experience it on the inside. They see it on the outside. They yes. see the star, automatically it's a Mercedes-Benz. It's a Mercedes-Benz, but yeah. the inside is what carries the DNA of the Mercedes-Benz line. Okay. And so to follow and feel it, I mean, initially, of course, I've seen other car, I mean, other model um, changes, and sometimes I go, why'd they do that? And okay. why, did they, why did they change the position of this? And then yeah. once you get into it and you figure it out, you're like, oh, well, that's that why they sense. did it. That's why they did it. <laughs> well, now let's move away from the interior, and let's talk about the exterior. Uh, once again, tying, tying it in with the baby, as being called the baby S-Class, I know right off the get-go, I realized the taillights. Mm -hmm. The taillights just scream S-Class, right? But tell us more about the, the big difference that they, they did, uh, sw the huge changeover from the 2014 to the 2015. Well, in, in regards to the C-Class, you'll notice that they brought back the, the folding in mirrors. Okay. The aerodynamics of the Ford folding in mirrors, they'll be, you'll see that there's actually three little lines. Yeah, exactly. That actually puts the air flow against the window to push the water on the way out. Oh, wow. So you see visibility on your... Uh, on your rear view, on your, actually your side mirrors. Okay. But the, in, the the whole part of like the exterior side, even though that you can get this in a luxury with the star, mm -hmm. is that it's the aggressive grill and the lines on the outside. It is, I think, a very sexy car. On the outside, I mean, I see it and I look at it and it's very impressive. And it just, you, I mean, it, I'm just blown away by the way that it just stands out so much. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed our review of the 2015 C300 Formatic. Once again, my name is Chris. My name is Dale. And we hope to see you guys soon. Thank you.